Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a what I eat in a day carnivore, and I'm really excited to just show you guys what I'm gonna eat today. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna eat for one meal, but the other meal I want to actually show you guys how to make a chaffle, Um, because I had a lot of requests for like how to make a chaffle. I actually made a chaffle with like pulled pork and put sour cream and like hot sauce. I know hot sauce isn't like totally carnivore, but I ate it anyway. I'll pop up a picture right here for you guys because it was absolutely delicious. My husband and I loved it. It's been one of the best meals ever. So after I posted that picture on like Instagram, a lot of people were asking me how to make chaffles and like how to just make it in general. So I thought that I think tonight I'll just go ahead and make those chaffle tacos I was talking about. So I'll show you guys how I make chaffles and I'll do some ground beef with some spices. I feel like chorizo would be really good, but I don't have any at the moment, but we'll do like ground beef, turn it into taco meat, and then I have sour cream. I think I have a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese, which would be really good, and then probably hot sauce again. I think that's definitely what I'm going to have for dinner. So if you want to learn how to make a chaffle um, and then turn it into a taco, like definitely stay tuned to the end because that'll be more towards dinner time. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to eat for like lunch. I've actually been pretty good the last couple days. Like I have only been eating like one meal a day, and so. I'll have to just see how my hunger is. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to show you guys is how to make like bacon mayonnaise. I wanted to make like bacon grease mayonnaise. So I don't know if that'll be in this video today because I do have some tuna and some hard boiled eggs. I could like either make deviled eggs or I could just make like tuna salad or something. Right now I'm actually drinking some black tea, which I know I drink tea and coffee on the carnivore diet. I know it's not strict carnivore. So if you are strict carnivore, please do not do what I do, but I'm just drinking some like organic black Lipton tea with some cream. And so that's what I've been feeling recently. I've been on like a tea cake. I actually, um, well, obviously I got a shower and stuff. Today is my day off. I have today and tomorrow off and I'm gonna do a social media detox again tomorrow. So today I have to get all my like filming and editing done. So I'm actually about to film my bullet journal setup for February. If you guys don't know, I do plan with me's actually over on my book channel, which I will link above right here. This is my bullet journal and I have just like really learned how to use it like super functionally. So I'll just like show you a little bit of it just so that way you know if you wanna go check out my plan with me's on my other channel. So let's go into January. This was January and so I literally set up a little like calendar. I have a January to do goals for January. This is, you know, this past month. Then this is for my Weeby Book and Book Club. These are the events that are happening, things that have to be done, buddy reads that I'm doing, um, to do's and just admin call notes. This is my no spend rules page. Then I have a YouTube spread with ideas. This is my January reading, which I haven't filled out yet. Spoiler vlogs that I might do for my book channel. And then this is how my daily stuff goes so I just write out like this is the day I highlight the day I write out what needs to be done I check mark it off if I get it done and so yeah this is Wednesday this is today I have so much to do today so as you can see I plan super functionally so if you want to just like kind of see how I do it see me see my setup and you know I do explain in my plan with me is I like go in a lot more detail and explain just like how to move things from one place to the other place and how it all makes sense. So definitely go check it out if you're interested, but I actually already penciled in all of my February spreads because that's what I do first. And so I need to film that right now for my book channel. And then I'm going to edit that. And then by that time, it'll probably be closer to lunchtime. And then I can catch up with you guys and let you guys know like what I'm going to be eating for lunch. Or if I'm hungry for lunch, I might maybe I'll just have something like small, I don't know. But actually I wanted to tell you guys, I weighed myself, uh, let's see, it was probably like, oh, I actually weighed myself on Sunday, I think it was Sunday morning. Today's actually Wednesday and you guys will be seeing this on Saturday. So after you saw my last video, I weighed myself on Sunday cause I do a 36 hour fast every single like Friday evening to Sunday morning. And I've lost six pounds so far. And that was like last week. So I don't know if I've lost anything this week, which is really, really crazy because I, 
that's great. Like I can't believe I lost, it was like six pounds in like nine days of carnivore or something like that, which is just, I don't know. That's just really cool because I feel like I'm not really trying. I'm just eating meat and I love that my like bloat just goes down. So that was really, really cool. So really excited to just see. I'm probably not gonna weigh myself until the end. I think I have to weigh myself in like seven days for a diet bet because I'm doing a diet bet. Um, and so I will then weigh myself like around that time and let you guys know like where I'm at if I won my money back. Hopefully I did, but all right, it's time to get to work before I waste the whole day away and all of the things I have to do today. Okay, you guys, we should probably eat something. It is three o'clock and I just finished getting off of like a little haul thing and finishing some tasks for my book club and I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh, the light is super bright. I'm getting a little hungry, um, but I know that I'm gonna be making like food shortly. Well, not shortly, but like soon for my husband. So I really don't know what I should eat. Like it's three o'clock and I haven't eaten anything all day long. It's just so easy to fast like while you're on carnivore. Um, I think I will actually try and make some of the bacon mayonnaise because why not? I feel like that would be really easy. And I think I'm gonna open a can of tuna. So I think that's what we're gonna have, just something like quick and easy, but also informative because we're gonna try the bacon mayonnaise. So in this carnivore cookbook, there is a recipe for bacon mayonnaise. There's already a recipe for tuna salad, <laughs> but it's really easy, it's tuna bacon mayonnaise and sea salt. So bacon mayonnaise is page 318. Okay, so we need two large egg yolks, two teaspoons of water or carnivore bone broth, one cup of melted bacon fat, and a half teaspoon of sea salt, and then an immersion blender. So let's try this out. That's like super easy. mayonnaise i actually like because i'm not super strict carnivore i'm gonna add a little like lemon juice and probably a little bit mustard just to like actually make it taste like mayonnaise but if you are strict like you can just make it like this and you've got mayonnaise that was like really really easy my tuna salad and mayo turned out great. I'm actually going to sit here and eat it with some of these cheddar cheese wisps. So these are just like crackers almost, but they're literally just made out of cheese like that. So I'm just going to eat it like this. have chaffle tacos for dinner. It is 6.53. I am not quite hungry yet, but I might be hungry by the time I make the tacos. And I think I'm gonna make some more wings in the air fryer again, cause like those were really good the last time I had them. So I'm gonna throw those in the air fryer and just cook them for like, I think it's like 25 minutes or 20 minutes or something like that. I'm gonna start browning ground beef and I'll put some like spices in it to make it like taco meat. But obviously if you don't have spices or you're, you don't have spices on your carnivore diet, then don't put them in. And then I'll show you guys how I make a chaffle because a lot of you guys had asked. So it's really, really easy and we'll make it and then we're gonna put sour cream and cheese and that's gonna be our tacos and maybe some like hot sauce maybe.
truffle taco. This, I'm using one hand because I'm holding the camera, but look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? That looks so, so good. Hello, you guys. It is the next day, like normal. I always never get to film an outro at night on the day that I'm filming my what I eat. So we had those tacos. They were absolutely amazing. They were really, really good. They tasted like real tacos to me. Now, the only thing is I've been having just like weird feelings about being strict carnivore. I have been kind of like just sad that I'm missing out on so many other food groups. And the last couple days, I actually haven't even been feeling that great after eating. I'm not hungry all day long. And then when I do eat, I just feel so like heavy and nauseous and so I actually think that I'm gonna cut this carnivore experiment short since I've already done carnivore a couple different times I've already done 30 days before and a whole seven days before so I have a 36 hour fast planned for the weekend I've been doing it every weekend now and then I'm gonna go back to keto and paleo I just really need more balance in my life and I just find that that I'm kind of getting sad about how strict carnivore is it's really restrictive and it is a great tool for me to lose weight and lose bloat at a very fast pace because I can drop weight really quickly on carnivore but with the long term I think I only will ever do it about a week or a week and a half because then after that I kind of get really sad that I'm missing out on cooking and eating a bunch of other things that I really enjoy and so next week's video is not going to be a carnivore what I eat in a day I am going to be going back to keto and paleo now that doesn't mean that I'm never going to do carnivore again in my life like I said it's like a one to one and a half week thing that I really like and then after that, I get really bored really fast. I will try and update you guys on my weight that I have lost in January because I still have the January diet bet to complete. So I will let you guys know my measurements and my weight and how that has been going. And then of course, you're gonna see like meal prepping with me with keto and grocery hauls with keto and just other cool videos. I'm really hoping to get the new Made Whole, Made Simple book by Christina Culp and do a little review on that and kind of like meal prep and cook through that cookbook because her first book is one of my favorites. Really hope that you guys enjoy all of my videos. I'm really sorry if I'm disappointing some of you if you're really strict carnivore and you're looking forward to more of my carnivore videos, but I really just have to go with what I am comfortable with and I don't wanna push myself to eating a style that I'm just doing because you guys want me to do it. I also wanna make sure that it's something that I can do and my husband is the same way where he is really tired of carnivore already. So we're gonna just go ahead and switch back and make some cool dishes and stuff with all of the fruits and veggies and stuff. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too, but I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.